you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Courtney and today we're going to be talking all about my breast reduction I'm saying breast because I don't want to get demonetized I also just wanted to give a disclaimer that I'm going to be talking about like my scarring my surgery my healing process so if that kind of grosses you out don't watch this video <laughs> if you've had a breast reduction <laughs> in the past um, or are looking to get one this will be really helpful for you. I'm gonna be answering a lot of your guys' questions that you left me. So yeah, let's just get on into the update. So I think my last video ended when I was about two weeks post-op and at that time I was having some issues with the stitches coming out. So imagine like an anchor, right? That's how the incisions were. So right at the middle point where the two incisions met is where I was having like a little tiny spot like this big open up, not that big, but it looked like this opening up and it had some like pus in there and I could see like a little blue line and I was assuming it was a stitch that was just trying to come out. So I sent pictures to my surgeon's office. They ended up removing those stitches and there were like a bunch of little ones all around that area that she ended up pulling out. It didn't feel too nice, but it was nice to know that those were, you know, getting removed because they would have made their way out. And I was having a little bit of the same issue on the other side. Um, I don't remember if the stitches had to come out, but I just like massaged the area and I guess I kind of pushed them back in. <laughs> I don't really remember. I think what happened on this one is that I ended up removing some of the stitches on my own because I saw them. I was like, I'm not going to go on a two hour train ride, a one hour drive a 40 minute walk <laughs> all the way to my surgeon's office to just have them pull out this one little stitch when I can literally pull it out myself. So if you're about to have the surgery or you have had the surgery already, you might experience some of that as well. Some of the stitches just might not dissolve. You might have a totally different method of healing than me. You might ha not have stitches. Like I don't know what else you'd have, but it's possible. I have no idea. I remember healing and just being so, so itchy, not on incisions, but like all around and that indicates that there's healing underneath the skin there and i just remember taking like a exfoliating dry brush and like just rubbing it on my chest because it was so itchy after like the whole initial drains coming out stitches healing the itchiness was the most annoying part every so often i would have like zaps of pain specifically like in the sides um where like the nerves are kind of healing back up. That lasted for a long time. Sometimes I still have that, but it's more so like in the nipple area. <laughs> Don't demonetize me. Yeah, so that's kind of like where I have the most pain right now is in my right nipple area. Um, it's really like hard and sensitive in that area and it's much more swollen still than the other one. So I know this one is still like healing more. Um, this one I feel like is pretty good. Another thing I wanted to mention is unfortunately I haven't had like the best experience with my insurance companies. I was approved, um, then things started going crazy, it wasn't approved, was approved after the surgery already happened. So I was never really able to enjoy how it looked afterwards because I had been dealing with all of this medical stress. I'm still dealing with it so it's still like uncomfortable uncomfortable for me to kind of talk about how happy I am with these because I'm just internally like so angry at the medical system. Regardless, it'll all work out I'm sure but you know what I mean? It's like it's hard to be happy about something sometimes when you're just so overwhelmingly stressed. Another thing that has happened since it's been about four months is that my breasts are no longer super hard and like lifted up and like perky like <laughs> they were originally. They're still super lifted but they're not hard anymore. They feel much more like a natural breast and they're more in like a teardrop shape rather than how they were originally which I would say is just like just a like a C rather than like the tear. How do I describe that? As for the different creams I've been using to help with scarring, um, they are over there, but I cannot get to them at the moment, so I'm going to put pictures right here. I use um, a vitamin E oil that I got off of Amazon. I also use a silicone scar gel that I got off of Amazon because originally I was using one from my surgeon's office, which was $160, which only lasted me about like three weeks. So yeah, it would get expensive fast. So I'm just trying to play with other methods of using those creams 
these are the ones I have. I'll have them linked in the description box below in case you are healing and are about to start doing your oils and creams and stuff like that. So now let's get on into the questions you guys have been asking me. I get so many DMs all the time with all of these questions. So someone asked, could you explain more about what it was like to be put to sleep? This is the part that freaks me out. What does it feel like? How do they do it? What does it feel like when they put this stuff in? Like, where do you get sleepy? Or is it more like you're wide awake to instantly out? Could you stay awake if you have tried or is it impossible? I thought that question was really funny because I was thinking the same thing before I had surgery. I was super paranoid that I would somehow still be alert while the surgery was going on. I described it in my last video and I'm gonna say the exact same thing because that's all I remember. They brought me into the room. They kind of strap your arms back so you're like this. There's so much going on and you're just kind of like, what's going on? I didn't have my contacts in, so it was already like I was out of it. <laughs> I could see. The woman behind me, she was the anesthesiologist. She literally just said, here comes the tequila. I said, make it strong. Then I woke up. <laughs> I don't know. It, it Like, you can't. My dad has gone through lots of surgeries and he always used to tell me like, they might have you count, they might have you count like from 100 and you might get to 97, but that's like pushing it. When I got out of surgery, he said, what did I count down to? I said, I don't even remember counting. Like, I don't think I even counted. I don't think I made it from 10. So you'll be totally fine. There's, there's no way of fighting it. I've always wondered how much weight I would lose if I had a reduction. I feel like they're so heavy, but they might not be as heavy as I think they are. Did you notice any weight change? This is really funny because I wondered the same thing. A few days after I had my surgery, I ended up weighing myself. I had lost four pounds. At the time, I didn't know what was my breast and what was from not eating anything except like saltine crackers. But I did find out that I got a pound out of each removed. So that's really exciting. So I did lose two pounds. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All right. The next question is, I'm about two months post-op and I'm wondering when did you stop wearing your surgical bra? Also, what type of bra if any are you using with that top you're wearing oh okay so that was in the video in the video i wasn't wearing a bra with that floral top at the end i still wear my surgical bra the thing is i'm not wearing underwire i don't think i can until six months i don't want to because even if i'm wearing one that kind of is rubbing on my incisions it hurts way too much i'm gonna link the surgical bra that i used in the description box it was the best i have it right here i think i got another question um on instagram related to the same thing like what surgical bra do i recommend this is the one i recommend i got this one on amazon before i had my surgery because i didn't know if my surgeon would give me one he did this one is the one i recommend the most because I got it in a size large. I just followed like the sizing chart that they had. Obviously I had no idea what size I was gonna be, but I just assumed like my doctor said, you know, he could get me maybe to like a full C a D. Um, so I wanted to stick with a large. So like, I would say you're gonna be super swollen regardless. So get the size that you would buy for yourself at the moment and or a size down. You have no idea what size you're gonna be, but you are gonna have you know swelling you're gonna have padding in there so you just want to be comfortable so like i said my surgeon had given me this one it's really ugly and gross but it was big enough that it could hold ice packs it held all my you know gauze and everything for the first little while i slept in this one every night for at least two or three months and then i started sleeping in this one and i would wear this when this one was in the wash. This one at the time was a little too tight. I liked how that one was just like sitting on my skin. This one was more of like a compression top. And this one is almost too big for me now, which is exciting, um, but I do still sleep in this. As for like what I wear on a daily basis, I'll wear bralettes, a stretchy material that's like tight around my chest, cute little razor back but the thing is you don't want the elastic to be tight around your incisions so this one um, is really really stretchy it does come a little bit lower than my incisions do and all of my bras are kind of like that except like this one this is like a really cute small bralette and this has nothing to irritate that area however it does sit right on it so 
it is a little irritating so it, it's just totally up to you and what feels good to your body but you're definitely going to want to get bralettes for a while after having the surgery another thing to remember when getting a surgical bra before you have the surgery like i said i really recommend the tan one but i also bought this one this was one that i never ended up wearing and the reason is the elastic is not comfortable and it sits right on that area tightly this is a size 36d maybe if i had gone up a size it would have been better but it's just where that elastic lands it's not a nice feeling so be really cautious of that when getting a surgical bra someone said earlier in the video you said you would never do it again did that change after the dreams were out or once you saw the results this is funny i would hope and pray i would never need one again if i had to i would go through it again looking it was so painful for that week with the drinks a week in the grand scheme of life that week was worth it for the happiness i feel now the confidence i feel now that week was not good i did not enjoy it i knew the results would be worth it they are totally worth it if i had to i would do it again <laughs> but also i just want to say if you're thinking about getting the surgery done take a week or 10 days off of work there's no way <laughs> i mean personally from my experience there's no way i could have gone to work before a 10 day mark i was just i could not move the next question is did you feel weird or sick after coming off of anesthesia? Um, I didn't. I remember when I was waking up before my eyes opened, I was itching my face. I don't know why. I don't think I was really itchy. I just felt like I knew something was on my face. So I was grabbing at it and it was the oxygen thing. That was like the only result I had from the anesthesia. I felt fine. Bowel movements were a huge issue for me. Um, that's super TMI. Won't go into it, but it was at least like seven days of chronic pain and not being able to go to the bathroom. Okay, someone said, I'd love to know what your breast shape is now, if it's changed much, and how your nipple is going. <laughs> that's, that's really funny to say. If it's back to normal, etc. Also, if you are experiencing pain still, um, slash any physical restrictions, slash limitations. Um, okay, so like I said, my breast shape is much more, like, uh, relaxed. It's more of a teardrop shape, which I'm really happy about. As for the nipple situation, it's totally fine now it was so weird it had absolutely no sensation for i'd say like six weeks and then it started to come back and now it's working fine the thing is though this one the other one that was working fine is just like very hard like the area around it is very hard it feels like stitches are wanting to come out but they have to be dissolved by now it's a very like tender area still and also i have no feeling in the sides or underneath my breasts at this moment they might come back the nurse said that i probably won't have feeling over on this side if i don't have it by now which is fine totally worth it am i experiencing physical restrictions or limitations still i wonder if i think you're referring to like how i was when my breasts were really big um no i feel because okay so i'm going to answer it from both perspectives because i don't know as far as like the surgery itself no no limitations at all i feel totally fine everything's great like i can lift heavy boxes everything's good as for if you're referring to like before surgery i have absolutely no back pain no shoulder pain the only thing that i still have is like the need to constantly crack right there but i think that's because i just hunch over also my tmj has gotten so much better my migraines have gotten so much better someone said like they have big breasts they want a reduction but they never could because they're terrified of the scars what I have to say to that is like the scars are the least of my concerns and I feel like that's the same for a lot of people who have a big chest like you know the pain you know like the gawking that you get as a child that like traumatizes you you know like the physical restrictions you have you know how hard it is to breathe how hard it is to do anything how hard it is to exercise like how bad your back hurts your headaches like the scarring is 
the least of my concerns. I'm sure the least of a lot of people's concerns as well. Yeah, they're not like the nicest looking at the moment, which I will show you, but they're getting better. Some of mine are still red. Some of them are pink and around the nipple on one of them, it's like turning like a silver color. So I know they're healing. I know they do go away. You know, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Someone said, what age do you recommend to get it done? Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a personal preference. I would say definitely get it done uh, while you're young if you can. That said, like you might, I did get a lot of questions about like breastfeeding or whatever. Um, you might want to have kids before. It's up to you, like if that's something that's really important to you. But you know, if you're really, really young and you're thinking about it, like you're 14, I saw someone just left a comment saying they're 14. Wait until you're like 18 if possible. Like you don't know like if you're still growing. And the last thing you're going to want is to get it done and then have them keep growing, you know? So as for breastfeeding, I did get a lot of questions about that too. I know my surgeon said like, I won't have a problem with that, which I feel like is an unrealistic expectation to like place on people. The thing is, you don't know if you're even able to breastfeed without a breast reduction. Like it's, it's, some people can, some women can't. Um, my sister couldn't. We have options nowadays and I'm thankful for that. Obviously, I would love to breastfeed my child and if it, if they work, that's amazing and I'd be so excited. I'm not placing that expectation on myself because I have no control over it. I just really wanted to live a life of being pain free <laughs> and I think that's okay. You know, it's totally personal preference at the end of the day, but I believe at least one of my breasts will be able to breastfeed a child. We'll see. We'll see when the day comes. Okay. This person said, I just had my breast reduction surgery yesterday and I'm in so much pain. For how long did you feel the pain and discomfort? I felt the pain and discomfort, the, the, the bad pain and discomfort lasted, I would say like, like 10 days. Additional pain started happening after that. It's l much less than the initial pain, but the, the other kind of pain was much more internal and it just felt like very irritating. Like you're gonna still need ice packs, take tons of Tylenol. After six to eight weeks is when the pain is all gone and then the itchiness happens. <laughs> But yeah, the first 10 days, make it through the 10 days, you'll be totally good. This might be TMI, but did you lose nipple sensitivity? The thing is, I really didn't have sensitivity in the first place. Um, they feel the same as before. Um, they work the same as before. I don't have much to say on that. If I did have nipple sensitivity before, I probably would know. And then the last question I have here is, which insurance do you have? Do all surgeons take insurance coverage? And I believe the answer is no. Most surgeons don't take insurance coverage. Some do, some do like in network, out of network. I'm not good with insurance. I'm really angry at mine. I have two, you would think having you know, still being on your parents' insurance, having a mom and a dad that both have insurance, you would assume you'd get good coverage, but they're such idiots. Like, okay. Anyway, <laughs> I have Cigna and United Healthcare slash Oxford Health. They're like the same. <sighs> they're annoying though, be careful. Today I actually went to Victoria's Secret and got sized, so um, I'm still swollen, so they're gonna keep going down until it's been a year, so it's only four months, which is crazy. Um, they're gonna keep going down a little bit. Right now, I am a 38D, which is exciting because before I was a 38, 36 HI, which is insane. I went down about five and a half cup sizes, which is amazing. I'm so excited. And today I actually tried on a 38C and it fit, which makes me think that by the time a year has gone by, I will be the full C that my surgeon said I would be. And I'm just so excited. I love the boots. <laughs> I love them. They're great. I'm super excited. Um, if you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. I'm gonna be doing maybe like a six slash eight month update and then I'll do one at a year. I'm really excited to show you guys like the process of going through all of this because so many of you guys said that the original video was super helpful, which I'm so glad. Um, I was really vulnerable <laughs> and raw in that video. 
be sure to subscribe if you're not already and hang around on my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Court Violetta. I'm over there all the time. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.